Hi everyone, the moment we have all been waiting for is here. We are excited to bring you eVision Hub, your go-to source for insights into embedded vision technology. In today's edition, we'll be discussing optical zoom versus digital zoom and how to choose the right one based on pros and cons. So, let's jump right in. As you may know, optical zoom and digital zoom are two primary approaches to magnification in camera technology. Optical zoom relies on the physical adjustment of lens elements to change the image's focal length. In contrast, digital zoom uses software algorithms to crop and enlarge the image. First, let's get a closer look at optical zoom. Optical zoom is characterized by the physical alteration of the camera lens's focal length. It is achieved through the movement of glass elements within the lens assembly. Changing the distance between these elements makes it possible for the camera to easily zoom in or out on a subject. This mechanical adjustment also enables a variable field of view maintaining the integrity of the image sensor's resolution. It can be critical in embedded camera use cases like industrial inspection, medical imaging, and remote monitoring. Some of the advantages of optical zoom are consistent resolution. The original pixel density is preserved, ensuring full sensor resolution is utilized without degradation. Higher magnification quality. Superior magnification capabilities are available for detailed imaging. No image distortion. Pixelation and image distortion that often accompany digital zoom enlargement can be avoided. Fixed position. Cameras can easily maintain image clarity from a distance. Sensitive environment friendly. Clear images are delivered without disturbing the subject or environment. Sensor resolution agnostic. It can be used in various camera types regardless of sensor resolution. However, optical zoom has its drawbacks. These include size and weight. Additional lens elements are required leading to heavier camera designs. Higher cost. It is typically more expensive due to the complexity of the lens mechanism. Mechanical complexity. Wear and tear becomes an issue making it hard to maintain moving parts. Slower focus adjustments. Slower focus speeds occur while adjusting the focal length especially during changing scenes. High power consumption. Power usage is higher due to mechanical movement which affects battery-powered applications. Next up, let's get some insights on digital zoom. Digital zoom leverages an image signal processor or camera software instead of mechanical lens adjustments. It starts with selecting and cropping a specific region from the camera's source frame. Then, this crop area is resized to match the desired resolution. The camera's computational capabilities manage the entire process without involving any physical alteration of the camera's optics. Digital zoom offers several advantages such as compactness. There are no complex mechanical parts resulting in compact camera designs. Reduced cost. It tends to be less expensive due to absence of moving lens elements. Rapid response. Zoom levels can be adjusted quickly which is useful for fast-paced environment. Energy efficiency. Less power is consumed, making it ideal for battery-powered applications. Reduced maintenance. There are lower chances of mechanical failure with reduced maintenance. However, digital zoom also has its limitations, such as reduced image quality. Image clarity and resolution are lost due to pixel enlargement. Pixelation. Noticeable pixelation is a harsh reality, especially at higher zoom levels. Limited range. It is effectively only up to certain point beyond which image degradation becomes significant. No true magnification. The existing image is enlarged, which causes unavoidable quality compromises. Now, it's time to compare these two zooming approaches in a way that matters. So, here are the differences between low resolution optical zoom and high resolution digital zoom to illustrate the difference let's compare two cameras one with a 2 mp resolution featuring optical zoom and the other with a 20 mp resolution with digital zoom capability optical zoom preserves image quality throughout the zoom range while digital zoom on a higher resolution sensor can retain more detail despite potential lack. hence the 20 mp camera with digital zoom generally produces 
a clearer image than a 2 MP camera using optical zoom. It's due to the initial detail captured and the flexibility in post production adjustment. This is why optical zoom remains crucial today in many embedded camera applications. It preserves image quality at various levels of magnification without impacting the image's original resolution and clarity. So, it performs better in low light conditions and is ideal for applications requiring detailed zooming from a distance it's important to note that optical zoom and digital zoom technologies have unique advantages and limitations selecting the right one depends on the type of applications you are building and the kind of use cases you are dealing with we hope that we have helped you understand these differences and gain the insights you need to choose the right zooming approach so folks the curtains are about to fall on this episode of e consistent e vision hub series before we go here's a huge shout out to you our cherished viewer for giving us your time and energy if you like what we are doing here please hit the like button or comment if you need more information on this topic of course if you require any help finding the right camera with the right zooming approach we can connect you with one of our in-house camera experts You can also go to our website and see our camera portfolio. Catch you in the next episode folks.